Hi friends, today we're going to be doing a big amaryllis unboxing. My three boxes of amaryllis from Longfield Gardens just arrived and thank goodness because last night was our first freeze. We didn't even have a frost, we went into a deep freeze. So it's perfect timing to be able to start on some indoor gardening. So there's three boxes of amaryllis. So cue the Christmas music, it's time to unwrap these amaryllis presents. This is truly the best present of all amaryllis bulbs. So our first amaryllis is the one I was most excited about. It's called Charisma. And a lot of you told me that I should try growing Charisma. It's a white and red amaryllis with speckling all over the petals. And the way that the speckles are shown on the petals, it almost makes the flower look like it's shimmering. So I decided instead of getting just one of these Charisma bulbs, since so many people recommended it, I got three and Crane was so sweet from Cranery Gardens. He sent me this beautiful gold bowl the other day from Amazon. So I wanna plant these bulbs in that. Next up, I got five terracotta star amaryllis. If you recall, we went to Longwood Gardens last year for Christmas to see their amazing amaryllis display. And I was able to see terracotta in person and see how it's really a salmony pink in real life. And I just fell absolutely in love with it. So I'll definitely have to be on the lookout for a really special pot for these. So I've got our next box open. And if you're looking for the perfect amaryllis, the amaryllis that is so beautiful that it'll make you cry and never need to buy any other amaryllis again, well, actually that's not true. That's a false statement. But let's just say this is hands down the best amaryllis on the planet. So naturally I bought five, magical touch. And this amaryllis is actually causing controversy in my household right now. Now I've grown Magical Touch for a few years. I have two in the collection so far. And every website says that this amaryllis is red. And I think I might be colorblind because to me it looks like it's hot pink. So I showed my husband a picture of Magical Touch yesterday and I just asked him, without reading the description, what color is this amaryllis? And he said red. So now I'm just questioning everything that I think about every color that I'm seeing everywhere because am I crazy? Isn't Magical Touch hot pink? So whether or not it is red or hot pink, that is up for debate. But one thing's for sure, this is the most beautiful amaryllis that you will ever grow, hands down. The bloom is huge. Also, one thing I noticed about it is that the bloom face is a little more flat rather than trumpet. It has a beautiful white edge around each petal. Their edges are a little bit frilly too. So it's just so interesting, so beautiful. You can never have too many magical touch amaryllis. Next up, we have Red Pearl, which is a wonderful deep red amaryllis. I grew three before in a clay pot. It was so beautiful and I lost all of those bulbs to thrips. So I wanna grow it again. Also remember I'm growing Mandela from Amaryllis and Caladium Bulb Company. So I wanna compare Red Pearl and Mandela side by side so I can really see which is the darker, more romantic amaryllis. Next up, we have Cape Horn. And I asked my husband about what color Cape Horn was last night because I really felt like I was going crazy. I'm possibly colorblind. And he said, Barbie pink. And I couldn't agree with him more. We have Cape Horn in the collection, but I needed just a few more. It's a beautiful, vibrant pink around the outer petals, beautiful white center. And then deep into the center, you have that beautiful candy apple green. It blooms really quickly. And I I think it will look so beautiful if you have pink, blue, purple, jewel tone decorations for Christmas this year. It's really a standout amaryllis. And I grew it in a green pot and I thought the contrast between the green pot and the hot pink bloom with that candy apple green center, just gorgeous. This one is called Magic Green. It was an ivory amaryllis with streaks of green and subtle streaks of red, but primarily an ivory and green amaryllis. Here's what the bulbs look like from Longfield Gardens. This is a 34, 36 centimeter bulb. That's the measurement around the circumference of the bulb. The bigger the bulb, the more blooms you can expect to get from that bulb. But look at it. It's such a great high quality bulb. I just love that they ship the 
Amaryllis with some of the root system, some of the fleshy root system that is still intact. So it's really easy to just soak this root system in a cup of tepid water for 12 to 24 hours so that you can really wake it up and get it growing really quickly. I would love to hear all about what Amaryllis varieties you are growing this year. What's your favorite Amaryllis? You know what, the thing is, if everyone tells me what their favorite amaryllis is, I'm gonna need to buy some of those varieties too. So I really would like to get your thoughts on this amaryllis. This is called Giant Amadeus, which is different, I believe, than just Amadeus. So on the Longfield website, it says that this amaryllis changes colors and they have two pictures on the website. In the first one, it looks more like a red and white amaryllis. And then in the second one, it looks more like the colors that it states here, which is peach, pink, and white. And they say that I think it starts out with that red coloring and fades to peach. So I'm trying to decide if I should grow these for Christmas. And so I'd really like to know if you've grown giant Amadeus, does it in fact start red and white? Because if so, I'm gonna put five bulbs on the mantle for Christmas of this variety. Now I had to order this one just because it was called Elvis. And if you know me in person, you know that I absolutely love the 1950s, the early 1960s. I always say I feel like I'm born in the wrong era because I love Doris Day, Frank Sinatra, all the movies from that era, right when they were introducing Technicolor and musicals were becoming a big thing, singing in the rain, that type of thing. That's what really makes me happy and the things that I really like. I collect old magazines, old records, old movies, but all that to say, this variety is called Elvis. So I thought I have to have an Elvis Amaryllis in my collection. And lastly, we have a variety that I grew last year and loved it so much, I ordered three more. It's called Alaska. This is a double white Amaryllis with the green center and it is just strikingly beautiful. I had some that I positioned in our dining room so that as the sun was that golden hour near that window, the sun shone in and I was able to photograph it next to Dancing Queen and some Ziva paper whites. But if you love white Amaryllis, if you need need an amaryllis that will match every room in the house, definitely you won't be disappointed in Alaska, a beautiful double. It's really so hard to choose my favorite amaryllis because it does change slightly, but magical touch has gotta be number one. Alaska is probably number two at this point. And then Gervais or Gervas, I still don't know how to say that one, which is a really just big, classic amaryllis that looks like a pink and cinnamon candy cane. That one is also so beautiful. But how can you really pick a favorite amaryllis? It's like asking someone to pick a favorite child. It's truly impossible. But friends, it looks like I have a lot of planting ahead of myself. I'll plant up some of these with you. Some, I'll just get them in some potting soil so we can enjoy the beautiful show this holiday and winter season. I wanna wish you a great day out there in your gardens and I hope your or planting an amaryllis or two or 35 or 68 or 112. Bye!